Welcome back to Hardball. As we've been reporting here on Hardball, Vice President Joe Biden has been thinking about jumping into the 2016 presidential race for the nomination. But today, NBC News' Kristen Welker reported that multiple people around the White House say it's unlikely Biden will actually run. A Democratic strategist familiar with the thinking inside the White House said that while the vice president is reaching out to allies right now and to supporters, he does not appear to be putting together the ground game or actually taking the concrete steps that one would take to launch an actual bid for the White House. So last night, CNN reported that there are concerns inside the White House about a possible Joe Biden candidacy. Meanwhile, an important newspaper in South Carolina is pushing the VP to run. The editorial from the Post and Courier last weekend said, run, Joe, run. Well, time now for the roundtable to take a look at the facts. Steve McMahon is a Democratic strategist. Ann Garrett is a political correspondent with The Washington Post. And Jason Johnson is a radio talk show host and, and contributor to NBCNews.com. Okay, and you're first, the facts. What do we know from inside or around the White House about this uh, Biden uh, boomlet or, bomb, or is it a... Uh, a, a trial balloon, or what is it? Well, clearly there's been a trial balloon, and but it's a it's a different thing. Did, did for the for the Hunter put it up? His son put it up. Did Mike Donlin put it up? And lots of right, lots of people. I'm asking who, you who are are who like, put it up? All of the above. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly, all of the above. Um, Biden has a, a circle of devoted loyalists, many of whom would like to see him run. Uh, that we have no indication from our reporting, or apparently from from Kristen's excellent uh, reporting as well, that President Obama. Obama is among them. Uh, I think if, if the president wanted his vice president to be his anointed successor, we would know that by now. There's absolutely no Okay, what are his people loyal to Obama trying to do? To, are they trying to kill the buzz or kill the prospects? Because you can stop people from talking about it. Does that stop, does that stop Joe from running if you stop people from talking about it? it? No, I don't think you can stop Joe Biden from doing anything. Uh, and, and, and certainly Obama can't be seen to be, you know, squelching this, right? However, uh, he's He's not also he's not encouraging is it he either. afraid but this but will hurt Hillary if, a, if yes. Joe runs yes and and Hillary has clearly been selected as the most viable uh, vessel for the Obama legacy and and was there ever a be, deal that would divide That's a great so, question was there yeah, ever uh, a deal when Hillary gave that wonderful speech in, in 2008 when she left the campaign mm -hmm. it was more than just gee whiz I lost I guess the other guy won it was warm it was wonderful it was even powerful and you got and I didn't know then but I always like to think about this thing was she promised Secretary of State at that time or was she promised something like it was there a hint hint and this time around did he or maybe back then did he promise it was her turn next well, she, he, she certainly was not promised Secretary of State. That actually came was as a surprise. Was she promised her turns next? Uh, we would love to know, wouldn't we? I think a lot of people think that's true. Um, I don't know if oh, yeah, I'm reporting I'm, I'm, I'm that like it's true. Ask. I don't know the answer. It's, so, Steve. so I've talked to people who were, who were present in the first Obama administration and asked them, because it's a curiosity to me, mm -hmm. why is it that there was so much of the Obama machinery that moved so quickly and seamlessly to Hillary, and why did nobody this time even consider? Yeah, but they started moving six years ago, and why didn't anybody even really consider Joe Biden? And you know what they said? Nobody thought Joe Biden was going to run. Everybody loves Joe Biden, and everybody thought he would be a great president. And everybody inside there believes he was—he's been one of the best vice presidents a president could ever have. What's the age difference? Five or six years? Between, between the two Hillary, of them, four uh, years, uh, four years, four right? years. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and nobody thought he would run. And so now they're sort of sitting back there going, geez, we always liked Joe. I wish he'd let us Did know he, he think was he would run? serious. Uh, do I, we I, know whether he had ever ruled it out? Like, like Dick Cheney probably ruled it out, but did this guy rule it out? I, I don't think he ruled it. I don't think you can ever rule it out. When you finally get this close after so many times of trying, I don't think you can ever rule it out. And honestly, I think that would actually help. Hillary needs some real competition. I don't think she's going to do well in this primary just steamrolling over everybody. I think a Joe Biden Is that what you call this process, steamrolling? I, I think it's steamrolling right <laughs> that now. That is I a think powerful this, this reference she's point. Gonna, she's just marching over everybody. Well, I think one argument you make there is that he has ran twice before, mm -hmm. once a long time ago and once more recently. And as Gene McCarthy, one of my heroes, once said, it's easier to run for president than to stop. Exactly. Well, there's another. There's I another probably one. say that too often, but it's true. Well, and I used to work for Senator Kennedy, and, you know, one of these. He ran. He ran. And, and when, once you believe you might be president, and you think you should be president, it's not something that just goes away. Right. Joe Biden still wants to be president, believes he should be, like Mitt Romney. It's a dream that's difficult to well, let go of. Them very close to that presidential Absolutely. chair. I mean, Hillary probably even said it a few times, but yeah. Joe probably did when he's not around. You know? <laughs> anyway, it's only next door to his office. Anyway, the round table is sticking with us. And up next, well, it's Clown Car Tuesday. You know that? And driven today by, of all people, Jeb Bush with Carly Fiorino riding shotgun. They're cra all the Republicans are acting a bit wacko these days. And this is Hardball, the place for politics.